Hans, can you tell me when you first discovered this vineyard? 2000. And what was it that excited you about this place in particular? The, um, the aromas and the, and the berries. I mean, basically, I checked out more or less the whole area before we came here. And um, it's just radically different. And what was what was so different? What is I mean, what is it that makes this different to other areas around the region? No idea. <laughs> but you found some very old vines here. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of old vines in the area. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that the main thing is that it was 85 percent Malbec, as as a let's say. Um, population in, in this one and a half hectare mm. that was very attractive uh, you know I was brought up in Bordeaux I went to school in Bordeaux all that but I worked like a Bugandan <laughs> strange <laughs> and um, I don't know there's just something really 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 special about it super and so some of these vines how old are they if we have a look the at oldest them? the oldest are 84 to 85 years mm -hmm. old and what is it that they're um can you tell us a bit about the soil and the climate here the soil is uh, in noemia in this vineyard it's a little bit more um, alluvial mm. so you get some light clay um, under that we get some uh, um, what you call um, calcare. Calcareous say. soil. Calcareous mm. soil. But it's not very deep. In fact, the, the water, the phreatic, what do you call it? The water, um, the Napa phreatica. I don't know. The waterbed. Oh, the waterbed. It's not that deep. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, about a meter twenty. Mm -hmm. So the roots are definitely down there. And, and what's attractive about old vines, it's not so much the low yield that everybody talks about. Look, we don't have a low yield. We actually have quite good yields. Um, it's just the resistance to the weather. Um, it can handle hot, it can handle cold. And, you know, it's, it's basically, this is what's very attractive about it. Autochthonous is a key word. In, in this, uh, and what is the weather like here? It's like Brazil. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's basically, if you look at me right now, um, this is luminosity. It's pure luminosity, and, it, and and here you can see it going straight on the plants. Mm. Just pure light, very clean. And what does this high luminosity mean for grape growing? Good photosynthesis, but we have plenty of that, so it's not what we're looking for really. But it's just pristine, it's just very clean. The climate uh, is um, extremely dry, we have 30% humidity maximum, so we don't have diseases, any. <laughs> we don't actually spray, which is okay. quite rare. Um, well, and then you also have this daily wind here. We have this wind that you can hear right now, mm. this daily. Uh, the quality of the water as well that comes straight from the Andes in large amounts. So it actually, even though there can be some pollution along the way, it gets cleaned out mm. you know, all the time, constantly. And, and, you know, I, I strongly believe that the roots, they don't eat rock, they drink rock. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, you know, if the water's good, they're going to drink it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's probably what brings us all these minerals from the Andes. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And um, why would you say, I mean, you came here back in the 90s, your first trip to Rio Negro. Are you surprised that more people haven't? been investing in the area? Yeah, um, beyond. can't believe it. Why do you think? I don't have an answer. <laughs> it's just weird. It's a paradise. <laughs> I mean, right next door we're doing one of the best Pinots in South America. Mm -hmm. And here we have 
So they say, I'm not saying it. So they say one of the best Malbecs in, in South America mm -hmm. or in the world. And they're so, quite, so that's weird, no? They're very different varieties. I mean, totally what, what different. What varieties do you think work in the region? Or do you think Most. there's a the potential? For the them? only one that I, that I really have not been interested in is Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to work. Okay. But everything else you think you can give a good crack at in Rio Negro? Yes, I make Merlot, I do Carane. Everything comes out like mm -hmm. on a horseback between the new and the old world. It's quite extraordinary. Mm -hmm.